Welcome back. In the previous part, we finally got ourselves our sealer here, which is going to change what I do with the group going forward. Now I've actually got an attacker that I, I really want to focus on and try and get my team sorted. So, in between the parts, I went away and got some ascensions, got some leveling up, got some new relics, all the stuff I could do to try and improve my team. But, one thing I'm looking at, because we see our team here, very happy with Beilu, very happy with Seely, very happy with Japard. Asta, I do want to swap out. She's good, she's good, don't get me wrong. But we can do better. We can do better. Now, I was thinking in the previous part, based on what I'd seen of some of the characters available to us, down here, let's go to additional rewards so we can have a proper look. I was thinking that I get... Welt here, thinking very much his skill comes in with, with this kind of deal here. Where is it? Yes, this one. Deals imaginary damage equal to 90% of Welt's attack to all enemies, with a 100% base chance for enemies hit by this ability to be imprisoned for one turn. Imprisoned enemies have their actions delayed by 32% and speed reduced by 10%. So basically doing the opposite of what Asta does, slow down the enemies. Me thinking, good idea buff character, debuff character, it's, it's simply the same type of thing, it's like, yeah, logical thing, makes sense, but, but, then I had some more thoughts, what about Bronya? Bronya here, now Bronya's ultimate is increases the attack of all allies by 33% and increases their crit damage equal to 12% of Bronya's crit damage plus 12% for two turns. So essentially, there's more to this obviously, but essentially, she's going to be buffing the group, which would actually be buffing, if we come out of here and go there, actually be buffing Sela. And why that would be very good is if she's got more damage coming out, she's going to be destroying enemies, right? If she destroys the enemies, she then gets her free turn. So she's going to be destroying things. And then I also looked at the possibility of getting in the night. So have a look here at this. So this is specifically for her. You can tell because it's her picture. So increases the wearer's crit rate by 18%. Wow. While the wearer is in battle, for every 10 speed that exceeds 100, the damage of the wearer's basic attack and skill is increased by 6% and the crit damage of their ultimate is increased by 12%. The effect can stack up to six times. That's quite powerful. That you combine that with a Bronya, she's going to be dealing so much damage, and then because she's going to be dealing so much damage, she's going to get free turns everywhere. I need to get this as well. I need to get that, so I'm going to be pulling on that as well. Yeah, it's, it's very much like up to this point, I've been sort of half paying attention to tactics is the best way of putting it until I got some specific characters. I didn't feel like investigating this stuff properly. Some people may have noticed that in the past, but now, now it's like, oh, I need to get Bronya. I need to get Bronya. I, I need, I need to get that light cone. Because, oh my god, the amount of damage and the amount of free turns we'll have, wow. Wow, and we will get a Bronya. I was, I was going to, I was very much going to, on the additional rewards here, when we get to the 300, I was going to get Welt. But, if I've not got Bronya by that point, because obviously I need to pull on this banner, so if I've not got her by that point, I will get her. If I've already got her, I'll get Welt, because... I don't have an imaginary character, and that would be a good idea. Anyway, so that should caught up on basically what we've been doing. I'm, I'm very much ready to go to other things. We will carry on the story for a little bit until we're ready to go to the next location. Then we'll do side quests. Other than this part, because I do feel like we should get the simulated universe part two done ASAP, really. So let's head on inside to the simulated universe and do world two. Mainly because this is a periodic 
type thing, as you can see in the bottom left, the period will end in three days, one hour. It would be a good idea to get through this as soon as I can, so I'm ready for when it resets. That's why we're doing this ASAP. So, World 2, download. We obviously, obviously want. So, now, 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 now. Things have changed, so the one with the most defense and health after that, I believe, is Sila. And then, where where am I going? I've gone complete. I've lost. I have lost every. My, my my mind is defocused. It's it's like very much like. Hold on, you're orange. Why would I not want you? Like hold on, yeah, because st I, st I still want Aster, don't I? My mind got confused then. Anyway, launch the universe, as you do. Um, let's get a one star blessing. Maybe we'll get a new one from a different list in here. I'm not entirely sure. I'm literally just going to pick them at random. I'm not going to pay attention, just so you know. I'm doing that because my focus is going to be trying to collect ones I don't already have. So, at this point, I'm not going to focus on it, is the best way of putting it. I'm not going to focus on that kind of thing. There's options in this one. Okay, Um, hold on, hold on, hold on. I wanted to see what you were weak to. I wanted to see what you were weak to. This is just not on. Don't mess with me. Right, so we want to try and destroy you as quickly as possible. Hmm, I mean you'll be weaker, but we'll go for the weakness for now. That did destroy you. Your misery. There's our resurgence. We'll go for another single target. Now we won't get an additional attack because we killed them with our resurgence. If I actually unleash Hold on. I, I, mm, I haven't tested this. Chains. If I kill you with my ultimate now do i then get a free turn disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past seems like we do interesting i'll end your misery it's just again imagine harder enemies and having more damage i'm gonna be annihilating things it's gonna be amazing I need skill points as well, you know. But. So no again. Manners, huh? uh, oh, well, we've got other characters in the group, have we? Oh, all right. <laughs> they can build up the skill points for us. Need a doctor? <laughs> oh, it's so good. You stand in a vast expanse of whiteness and raise your head. You see a tall, valiant figure like a crown prince striding across the fragmentum. The dazzling stellar wind wavered. You see them drawing a bow, and then they suddenly leap into the distance. You clearly see them coming, but after a moment, only his shadow remains. Land the hunt, Herta whispered. Oh, whispered. Land the hunt. Don't be in a daze. They are ahead of you. Hurry up and call them. You find yourself unable to move at all. It's like they have nailed you to an invisible wall. And you don't even know when they made the move. You struggle. Say their name and... It's a turn-based game. You have to deal with me one time before you can go. They ignore you and in the blink of an eye disappear from your sight. Don't be too discouraged. I'll increase their social attribute next time. Hurt was a little disappointed. They moved too fast, but I was able to intercept some of their information. And they're probably not very familiar with Akivili. A moment passed. She added, Perhaps they only have their enemy, the Abundance, on their mind. The Abundance? Yeah. Yaoshi, the Eon of Abundance. Herta answers indifferently. The kindest being in the whole universe, probably also a monster. They would heal everything they see, be it as small as an atom or as large as a galaxy. Perhaps they can solve your Stellarum problem for you, she adds jokingly. See here, it's like, well, I'll, I'll go with that one at the start because it's got the little book on it. Little book on it. Gotta go for the little book. Okay, so we've got options. I'm gonna go for the occurrence. I'd probably go combat in future, but because this is a let's play part, we're going with the occurrence. We want to see what we get here with these occurrences. Something I've got to remember to do is the um, tech as well. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. 
and you encounter a doll whose body is three times as tall as its head. It has straw-like hair made of ropes and a counter on its stomach. You open its manual, which reads, This is a doll to vent extreme emotions on, made by Aha in their own likeness. They wish to see themselves beaten up. The worse the beating is, the happier they will get, and the more gold coins they will award you. Note, Aha is not involved in the quality control process. Um, hit it hard. The number on Aha's doll counter reaches 299. One more. There is so much frustration in your life, after all. Pat it lightly. There we go. The number on the counter continues going up until it stops at 400. The chip embedded in the doll is activated to play a song. The destruction is crazy and the preservation is dumb. All the eons are stubborn and Aha is embarrassed. Aha is embarrassed. Aha is embarrassed. You have obtained a large number of cosmic fragments. That I did. Um, occurrence again then. Why would I not go for another occurrence? 3 of 13 though. <gasps> Interesting. The astral computer before you with a curved screen on top and a genderless human body at the bottom is running a calculation at high speed. While it seems to be simulating the collapse of a massive star, only you know that you are playing a game of rock, paper, scissors with it. What? <laughs> There is a 82.49% chance of you playing rock in the first game, and a 94.61% of you playing scissors in the second. If you choose to flip the table with me, and battle with the monsters I created, there is a 99.3% of you losing. But if you leave some cosmic fragments behind, your chance of survival is 100%. It is waiting for your response. Alright, let's, let's see about the security. Interesting. So... It's an elite then. Seize the initiative. A little something for everyone. And looking at what we've got, let's go with Japard. Bosh! I don't think Sealers. Ah, oh, great. Ability helped as much there. Right, let's try for the guy on the end here. See if we get him dead. No, no. manners, huh? But we can come in with chains. her ultimate. And disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. I pressed auto when I didn't want to. <laughs> I was just leaning on the controller. I was like, wait, hold on, what did I press? That is not what I wanted to do. Anyway, let's bounce. Oh no, be? we shouldn't bounce. We should build up. <gasps> let's get that going. We should Everything build up. Ordained by the star. oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. The skill points. Need the sealer. Because that, that's that's what we'll be doing now. Just so you know. Just so you know. Let's see if we can get you frozen. What a headache. No. Okay, so I'm going to come in. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of your butterflies. your ultimate on you. Illusions of the past. Then come in with the skill. Who invited you? <laughs> no manners, huh? Let me turn your wall. Again, this is all just this about building here. skill points for Sila. <laughs> Alright, let's go. That's all I'm doing right now, because I'm going to adjust what I do in future. It's just, I want to get familiar with that. Because we got you dead, free turn. Oh no, no free turn, because it, it's, it's dead. Yeah. Yep. I'll get used to it. I'll get used to it. I'm just very excited because it's so powerful. And with the right buffs, it'll get even more powerful. That's that's what's so ooh about it. To your surprise, you run into a physical herter puppet in the simulated universe. You can use your cosmic fragments to buy things from me. It proposes bluntly. Don't stare at me like that. I'm just worried you might have too much money to know what to do with. But I reckon you're not good enough to get that rich. All right, let's. Um, purchase a blessing because maybe, yep, there's a new one. Can I purchase another one, please? No, okay. Ooh, we're over here now. Can we go down there? No, there's a barrier. <gasps> we'll 
avoid you. What about you? It would be best for Belu. What a headache. One of two. So, your break is a bit down. Let's go for the single target skill here. I'll free you from your chains. Try again. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Resurgence. It's so good. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Again, I think you can see how this would work. It's just so overpowered. Again, if we have more damage, it's gonna be crazy. I'll end your misery. There's our resurgence. Oh dear. I mean, I know they're lower level than me. Don't don't get me wrong, but imagine how good that would be on harder enemies when I have when I have like more, more damage and stuff. Let's go for the occurrence. It's gonna be so good. You sit at the card table across from a one-eyed dealer whose metal prosthetic legs are intertwined with the legs of the Nildis table. His torso runs through a hole in the center of the table with a pinball circling his waist. He moves his eyeballs to look at you before bowing at you gentlemanly. Next, the dealer distributes the chips and shuffles the cards gracefully with his ten mechanical arms. There is a certain chance that you will unfold the most wonderful memory of the world. The dealer deals a stack of cards to you and adds, however, you might also reveal some mysterious affairs that aren't supposed to be made known. If you are unlucky, the consequences will be dire. Uh, flip the card. Obtain so, yeah, hold on here. Risk management is important. No. Obtain a blessing for every success and enter combat if failed. The current failure rate is 30%. Go for it. Right, because I want to try and build these. You open your eyes to see a gigantic light fish swimming past you. There are magnificent corals under the water of Alpine Islands, and the reefs are swaying. You reach your hand toward the starlight fragments, drifting in your surroundings. You obtain one blessing. Do you want to draw more cards? Yep. You are in a deep slumber. We're going into a battle. The air is stuffy and your forehead is covered with beads of sweat. As hard as you try, you are unable to wake up. Just then a voice comes from the sky and whispers to you in your dreams. Stellaron will fulfill any wish of yours. I'm very sorry, your memory has been interrupted. You look up at the dealer, whose ten arms twist together, forming a spinning matrix and making bullets by converging the gravitational waves. All right. Oh, great. Indeed. Okay, so let's actually see. I'll free you yeah, from we'll your go with chains. that, and we'll put it on you. Disappear among the because sea of butterflies. Weak. Illusions of the past. Ooh, the damage. Yeah, you're you're weak. Yeah. Who invited to you? Quantum. Um, we'll still do the single <laughs> target here and get the speed buff going. Is that all? Everything is ordained by the so stars. Give these. Let's throw out the defense as well. Trailblazers, your blessing. In the name of Landau, a will forged in ice never falters. It may be worth in future in your when I get Bronya and maybe some other characters. Maybe I already have characters that could be good, like Ting Yung, if I'm saying her name correctly. Probably not. But I could make a group of just attackers that could destroy Dying things. Silence, missing all the violence. Oh my god, if you wait, they sing. Or have an idol animation or voice, etc. But yeah, I could have an all out attack group for stuff like trash mobs. And then change it when we get to a boss. Interesting. Interesting. Options. Options is what we've got stuff available here now. Again, very much a case of now I'm really focusing on looking at tactics. Now I am and I'm like building my team correctly. Properly looking at it. Now we've got Sealer. That's what we'll be doing. Okay. Because if I can build up her energy quite 
fast. That would be a good benefit to me, wouldn't huh? it? Right, because I don't want to kill you. Because I want Sila to kill you. We're jumping over to you. <laughs> Still keeping an eye on my... <laughs> hmm, if we could freeze you, that'd be good. But yeah, keeping an eye on my skill points. There we go, froze you. Oh no! You went and died. Oh no. That's not good for us. I wanted to get my free turn. Huh? Don't mess with me. Throw that out. Throw that out. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. There goes her ultimate. Illusions of the past. Boom! You are done. Go away. Go on. You're out of here, mate. And we'll be having that. It's just so good. Enemies Seriously. ahead. Up for a scrap? The enemy looks really powerful. No. There seems to be something wrong with this enemy's data. Oh. You can't apply real world experience to this kind of enemy. Be careful. What does that mean? What does that mean? A little something for everyone. I'm with you. No idea. You can't apply real world experience? Ah, oh, great. I'm not entirely sure what she meant by that. Get the speed book going. Everything was ordained by the oh, stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh, man, now, another huh? thing with Sela, though. Even though her ability to have one more turn really comes about really strongly when there's multiple oh, enemies. Dear. She's just really Need strong as a character in terms of strength. Yeah. yeah. This ends here. Let's see about getting a freeze on you if we can. No look there. Let's get the defense coming the from Landau. A will forge Japard. an ice. Never falters. What a headache. Who invited you? We don't need a heal. We don't need I'm just We don't use Belu's ultimate that much, do we? <laughs> no manners, huh? None. Huh? Everything Go with that. Ordained by the Make stars. sure we keep that up. Trailblazers, your blessing. Need a doctor? <laughs> Hope you're prepared. All right, Chipard, come in. Hopefully, we get a freeze. So There's our freeze. Me. Let's see this big you? damage. <laughs> you have my gratitude. What? The extra turns for the other characters throws me off. I'll free you from your chains. Disappear among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. This ends here. <laughs> yeah, done. Oh, no new ones there. Very well. Let's go to the respite. Huh. Bosh. To your surprise, you run into a physical hurt puppet in the simulated universe. Same again. Right, so let's get two random blessings. Enhanced here. So I don't feel like we get too much from her first option there. Not at this point. Might be wrong there. Might be wrong. Didn't know this one feels new. I was going to say, didn't we do this one already? But no. It is quiet and peaceful inside the cave. The groups of insects jumping in the air look like colourful stars in the sky. A lady with grey matter-esque complexion is sleeping in the cave with nobles. No nobles? Yeah. Worms crawling at her feet. When she opens her eyes and sees you, a colourful flame instantly materialises next to her, spreads along the wall and soon reaches your feet. You're surrounded by fire in an instant. Waves of memories gush into your mind, overloading your psyche. You recall the afternoon when you counted with your fingers for the first time in your life. And the first time you saw space ants. Space ants? Walking in a straight line. I didn't expect it to say space ants. Why do you remember these? They are charming. Remembering the trash makes you feel alive. Catch her letting out an icy snort. Worship fully the eon of remembrance. And we will burn your dull memory, she says.
I like the idea of discarding. Please select the one to be discarded, whatever. Yes. I hope they're getting a new one. Got the book. Transaction? Transaction? You enter a circular room where a tree with white branches is tied up in ropes. Its beauty and sacredness, which make it look like a dancing statue, blow you away. Several soldiers are leaning against the tree, and you are not sure whether they are sleeping. They are pious knights with faces as pale as a sheet. You can't help moving closer to the tree. You hear the slow, crackling sound of the tree waving to and fro. There is a wooden board next to its roots that reads, water it, and it will bloom. Okay. I'm going to go with that option there. Use a bit of health, but so far all the orange ones, like the three star ones, they, they, they don't seem to have any books in the top right. There's nothing new there from the looks of it. So I'll go with the option where it looks like I have something new. Plus it didn't really matter because I get the heal here. So. Encounter hurt her. Uncaring, she looks at you expressionlessly. Congratulations, well done on getting here, Herta responds carelessly. You can use up all your cosmic fragments here to enhance your blessings. You won't get another chance to use them otherwise. Open it. So enhance. Cool. Enhance. Enhance. That's all we can do. Let's go. Boss. Seize the initiative. I thought that was a, some kind of new boss then. I was like, what the hell is that? I mean, still, what is that above that guy? Just, wow. Okay. So, uh, whoop. A little something for everyone. A little I'm something for everyone. <gasps> Bosh. Ooh, an extra <sighs> guy. Looks like you've got spare health bars from the looks of it. Okay. Well, let's get the defense the buff going Randa. just to be sure we're covered. Never falters. Oh, great. Thank you very much. And we'll go with single target on the dire wolf over here. I say single target. I've got, I've got to remember to say skill. Hmm. Bounce would be a generally good idea, but I'm thinking just skill points for now. Just build them up slightly. Just debating which one to attack first. Is that all? Ooh, these guys would be very, very helpful. If we can destroy them quickly, Sini, that would be very, very, very nice. I'm gonna try and take out this guy first, actually. Because that guy looks like the boss. So yeah. Yeah, if we try and take out you with the skill, see if we can do that. Ooh, that's a shame. We'll try and avoid you then. Is that going to attack the one on the right? I'll assume... Ooh. Oh yeah, they were going to explode anyway, weren't they? Let's get the speed buff. By the stars. Give these I'm, ju I'm just trying to right, refocus my brain in order to save enemies for Sila. Huh? It's, it's just a change in how you think about things. <laughs> Who is angry? I can't select anyone else. Oh no. Woe is me. Fine by me, mate. Fine prepared. by me. Get the defense buff going again. A Make sure everyone's covered ice. there, Japan. Never falters. Hmm. <laughs> Let me tend your wounds. That's not nice. from your chains disappear among the sea of butterflies illusions of the past the amount of damage she does is just immense I love it 
This ends here. Who invited you? Let's bounce. <laughs> Speed buff. Everything is ordained. Those oh, stars, give these trailblazers your blessing. What a headache. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say, does that count as us getting resurgence or not? Let's actually heal up Sila a little bit. Thanks. Okay, his defense buff going again. A will forged in ice never falters. No manners, huh? See, I can't attack him again. Huh? Who invited hmm. you? <laughs> Interesting. I thought it was gonna be multiple health bars, but maybe it's not. Bring that out. I'll Phase two. You from your That's how it's working. Disappear got it. among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. Oh, that was a big old hit. Hello. It's about to explode. Is that all? This ends here. Okay. Let's see about. Yeah. Just looking like who's coming up next. In Let's get Landau, a will the defense buff going. Never falters. Let's actually bring out the heal this time. Just so we can get heals from being attacked and stuff here and there. It's all okay, it's all okay. Who's next? I'll end your misery. That's why I didn't think about holding on to the skill point, by the way, because he was going to die. Let's get resurgence. Can also do that. Hmm. Will we take out the guy on the left? I'll free you from your chains. Now I'll take Disappear out the one. among the sea of butterflies. Illusions of the past. There we go. Just looking and analyzing, trying to think how can I maximize the amount of turns from Sila. I'm not gonna be 100% getting it right all the time or anything like that at this point. Like, no, 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 no. Learning, learning, thinking about ways of adjusting how I'm thinking. Just paying attention to all these things. Much, much more now, much, much more. Again, was waiting until I got a character. In my group, don't mess with that would me. shake things up enough so in I could name of Landau, a will look into these ice. things and really pay Never attention falters. to what I'm doing. So like we're not gonna Disappear get a resurgence here because you're the only one left, but of the past. can get you dead very quickly. There we go. We complete them unawares. Let's get out of here. Thank you very much. Points obtained. Lovely. Quite a few bonds there. Two of them, so I should have three now. Was world too difficult? Mm, piece of cake. Well, the simulated universe has an ability tree system. I'm debating whether to enable it. If I do, you'll gradually grow stronger in the simulation. But I can't say for sure whether that's a good thing. You try it out first. Uh oh, hello. Enter the ability tree. While exploring the simulated universe, ability points can be obtained. Use ability points to activate abilities and gain powerful exploration buffs. Unlock path resonance. Path resonance. Ooh, sparkles. During combat in the simulated universe, Actively consuming energy might lead to path resonance, which will earn you a buff in combat. But what kind of buff? Guess we'll find out. So, we can get this one as well. All ability boosts. In the simulator universe, all characters attack increase by 70, death by 60, and max HP by 130. Do android snails dream of what? <laughs> dream of what? What did that say? Not sure. We'll get the rest of these then. Boop, boop, boom. 
Let's look at the index now, because we have got more unlocked over here. This is why I'm trying to get all the ones with the little book in the corner to try and unlock all these where I can. Where I can. Uh, we got another Eon as well, you mate. Cool. Fully sorted then. Got three to go, three to go. Still not getting the Curios yet. World 3 does not seem to be available for me, so that's fine at this point. The store though, let's see about getting two passes. Thank you very much. Okay. So, let's see what that said with the achievement. Do android snails dream of electric trees? Okay. Very well, very well. And characters, what, what have we got on characters? What's... The exclamation there? Oh, because we got another herter. Is that what's going on? Oh! That's cool. Kick you when you're down. If the enemy's HP percent is at 50% or less, Herta's basic attack deals additional ice damage equal to 40% of Herta's attack. Don't use her. That's fine. Um, what did I want to see about? Because I did get quite a few things in here. Go up there. That's two there. Uh, we just got some holes here, didn't we? Got two here now. Let's start here. We'll view this for a little while. Show it every so often. Come on, Bronya. Come on, give us it. No. Very well. And again. Oh, we got another Herter. That's something. That's something. Right, but we are going to be pulling on this. So we've only got 5 days, 14 hours, so... We'll see how we do. I got that, at least. I, you know. Uh, fine fruit. Fine fruit. So, characters, we got another one. From you. Down here, there we are. So, keeping the ball rolling. Every time talent is triggered, the character's crit rate increases by 3%. The effect can stack up to 5 times. That's not bad, really, is it? That's not bad. Not bad. But, we will actually end this part here. And in the next part, let's get back to what we were doing in the dangerous, muddy swamp. Yeah. So, we'll see you in the next part. Ta-da for now.